Now this final guide through that I am going to show you today is on how to get the shield in the, in Shadows of Evil. And it is and I and for surviving longer rounds and super round and better rounds, even surviving past pack punch, I would get it because it's very, very helpful, but it breaks. And if you and the shield parts are very simple. I'll tell you, it's in the, it's in each step, it's in the, it's, it's when you're trying to get the perks, in, it's in the areas where speed cola, double tap, and jug are, depending on where they spawn, in the canals, the floodlight, and the waterfront. And I will tell you where each part is. Now there are three possible spawns for each of these for each of the shield parts, and I will tell you each shield part spawn. So the first possible spawn in the canal district, you want to head up these stairs, head up these stairs, and the first one will appear right there, right at that corner. If not, if not, there is a second spawn that will appear right here, right on that hallway. And I and sometimes, if you, if there's a chance, there will be a third spawn. I don't know if I don't remember. It might be through that door on the hallway area, or it might just be right here, right there, laying next to that beast mode change area. That those are where those are the possible spawns for this shield part. It, ra it randomized with each time you play this map on every, each time when you play this map. The second, th that's the second three possible spawns in for the next shield part will be up here in this floodlight, in the floodlight area. One is going to be right here. The second part will be right here. And the third part will be up here, either right, right there on this balcony. You'll need those are the three possible spawns to get that shield part, and you will have to open a door, open a door to get that, which will also open this door. So it de so it depends on your luck, depends how random it is, but those are the three possible spawns for the second shield part. Now for the third shield part spawns, it's three, now for the third shield part, it could spawn either right here, it could either spawn, it could, it could either spawn right here, or in some cases, it will spawn right, right, uh, right there. Those will be the possible things that you will see, and I will do an edit of that, but that bang thing you heard, that loud shatter, that was my shield being broken. As you can see, when you hear that sound, that metal smashing sound, I will play it. But when you hear that sound, when you hear it, the shield will be destroyed. You need to, you need to build it at one of these buildable, buildable tables. This one is right here, right in the canal district, near the ritual. I would build it right there because it because one it will be easier for you to remember where it is and it will be easier to grab when it breaks. I'd always wait for the last round to get it and not go on to the next round because if you go into the next round and try to grab the shield without in plain sight you will die. You will definitely die. And this shield is awesome. It defend what it does. It's like jug but for your back. It protects you from zombies coming up behind you. Watch this. See? No damage. The zombie attacked the shield and not you. And uh, there's a little icon down in the bottom right corner that shows you where you get the shield. But those are the shield parts. I would get this. It would help you to get Pack-a-Punch. It would help you to get a lot of things. But this shield helps increase your survival 
and I would try to get it right away during when you when you're trying to get jug during the steps of pack a punch even if it's very helpful it's very amazing and it will help you survive and even complete the steps of pack a punch when you also have jug and quick revive and and uh, oh and one more thing to learn about quick revive it has limited uses if you go down, you have to buy your perks again, unless you have a gobble gum that allows you to be revived while keeping your perks, which they are. You can only, you have to buy this by Jug and Quick Revive again. Jug is 2,500. Uh, in solo, Quick Revive is, uh, Quick Revive is 500. In multiplayer, it's 1,500, and it only rev helps revive your teammates not you in solo on the other hand it helps you continue on and survive much longer but it only has limited uses once you buy it three times it will disappear and the next death you have will be your last so that is all the that is all the guides i'm going to upload that is the <laughs> for now which is shield Jug, Shield, Jug, and Pack Punch. Without further ado, hope you all enjoy this episode. This is going to be Predator 2525, signing off.